We are following breaking news out of northern Michigan. The National Weather Service confirming that around a quarter to four this afternoon, a tornado touched down in the Gaylord area. Weather Service officials say there is a lot of damage in the area. And according to social media, there are reports of people being trapped in buildings and damage to several businesses, including Hobby Lobby and Goodwill. The 13 on your side weather team continues to follow this severe weather throughout northern Michigan. So we start with Chief Meteorologist George Lessons and a look at the path of the storm. George. Michael Barron and I were tracking these storms as they came in off of the Wisconsin shoreline. They eventually moved into northwestern lower Michigan, north of Traverse City. They're now moving out over Lake Huron. So the threat for northern lower Michigan is pretty much done. This is 3 o'clock uh, this afternoon as those storms were coming in off of the uh, Mission Peninsula. They uh, produced a tornado just north of Mancelona. You can see a little bit of a hook echo. It started down just north, uh, just south of Elk Rapids, and there it goes right up over the Gaylord area. This storm was warned as a severe thunderstorm warning. Now this is around 3:30 when Michael and I started getting a little bit concerned. This is a hook echo right in through here, and by the time it moved into the Gaylord area, there was a tornado warning in effect. The sirens were going off there, and of course the damage was ongoing. Tornado being reported. This is the same one in Gaylord right around 3:48, about four or five minutes later in Spar, right through uh, the heart of a Gaylord. Those are the one tornado. Uh, it's probably the same tornado. Two reports of tornadoes. Other than that, severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect for about another 45 50 minutes or so uh, for portions of northern lower Michigan. Uh, this is where the severe weather threat remains here tonight. Most likely we will not see that here in west of Michigan, but we do have some cooler weather on the way for this weekend. We're going to turn it over to meteorologist Michael Barons. He's here with a look at more of the images of the damage. Yeah, we've been getting lots of video out of Gaylord here this evening. First up is Stephen Bisher. You can see that video here showing damage to the Goodwill. It's hard to tell what this structure was, but you can see it's been completely flattened by that tornado that moved through town. The Gordon Food Service damaged as well. The cars in the parking lot, lots of roof debris thrown all around the town here. The next video comes from Brittany Clure. In this video, you can see the tornado off here in the distance. The funnel in the center of your screen starting to pick up debris and loft it into the sky. And of course, that debris, an indication that that storm was doing some definite damage. This video here from Ireland, she's a reporter for the ABC affiliate in northern Michigan. You can see significant damage here to cars, structures, power lines down all across uh, this particular area of Gaylord that was hit by the tornado, certainly seen impressive damage. It's a rare, large and destructive tornado for us here in the state of Michigan, and we're certainly going to be seeing more damage as the night goes on. Hopefully we don't hear any reports of injuries from us, but certainly we've heard those reports on social media of people who have been trapped. We'll be updating you throughout the night at 13 on your side.com and here on air at 13 on your side. A very warm and humid day here in West Michigan with the threat for severe weather, but the threat actually materialized further to the north where there were tornadoes went through the Gaylord area. We've been showing you some pictures and video. We'll have more hopefully coming up at the end of our newscast here, but tomorrow 13 weather ball is blue, cooler weather in view and blinking bright. Lots more rain in sight, including some evening non severe thunderstorms and this view sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. At least the threat is diminishing. Highs today up into the mid 80s, not quite 90 down in Kalamazoo, but it was very humid. We forecast 88. It made 86 today, 10 days in a row within three degrees of our forecast highs. We keep track 3.3 degrees warmer than average for the month, mainly because of the last of week to 10 days. Could use some rain only half as much as we should have. We'll get some of that here later on this evening and through Saturday night and about 9% less sunshine than usual. As we uh, look at the last a couple of hours of radar animation, you can see most of the storms have been well to our north. Uh, there have been a couple of showers up in northern lower Michigan and one small shower coming out over central Lake Michigan. No lightning with that yet, but as it runs into the warmer air here in southwest lower Michigan, there might be some thunderstorms developing here between now and about 8 o'clock. This is the leading edge of some cooler air that will drop our temperatures to near 70 tomorrow. Second cold front will come through Saturday night and that will drop our temperatures to near 60 on Sunday. From hour by hour, you can see those showers out over Lake Michigan. Every once in a while, you'll see some yellow and orange pop up in through here. 
and that means some thunderstorms, but mainly just heavy rain. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. We'll get a little bit of a break through the day, and then that second front will be approaching with more rain that will continue overnight, Saturday night through Sunday morning, and then the rain will come to an end, and we're going to see our skies clear, or at least become partly cloudy to mostly sunny on Sunday. So a dry Sunday, but a rather wet, not an all-day rain, but more rain than not during the day Saturday. Terms of rainfall, we'll have a little bit here overnight and then more later Saturday through very early Sunday. Many areas will see over an inch of rain. A couple of spots could see a couple of inches of rain. So I think we're going to erase some of that deficit in the rainfall so far this month. Long range outlook every Friday we get the week three and four temperature and precipitation probability outlook. Much of the country going to see higher chances for warmer temperatures from June 4 through 17. Unofficial start to uh, summer coming up here this next weekend. And it looks like it might be summer like in terms of precipitation. We may be on a storm track coming across the northern tier of the country. So higher chances that there could also be more rain during that two week period. Forecast though for tomorrow, it'll be cloudy, mainly showers throughout the day, certainly much cooler and less humid, low and mid 60s north, upper 60s from Holland and Muskegon south along the lake. In the northern zones, we'll be in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees, on and off rain throughout the day, especially into the evening. And from the greater Grand Rapids area southward, we may get close to 70 here tomorrow, maybe stuck in the upper 60s to the mid 70s down along the I-94 corridor. 13 on your side forecast. Dry Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Any rain or thunderstorms will come Tuesday night through Wednesday. Getting a bit humid. Uh, two points and temperatures will be in the 60s. The showers will end Thursday morning as we hit 64. And then here we go for the holiday weekend. Sunshine Friday 67, maybe more clouds and mid and upper 70s as we get into the long holiday weekend.